Hi, and welcome to the Veronica Harris Show. I'm your host, Veronica Harris, and today I have my co-host next to me. Co-hairdresser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, was you, <laughs> you said co-hairdresser, and the reason why <laughs> we said co-hairdresser is because today we're talking about hair. Yes, today's topic is hair versus health. And we're going to specifically be discussing how to maintain, how women specifically can maintain healthy and fabulous hair and be physically active too. Now, women, well we all, but women in particular, we have all heard for many years uh, that, that including physical activity into your daily routine is one way to stay healthy and reduce our risk for certain types of diseases. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services recommends that individuals engage in 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week. That works out to be about three days a week for a minimum of 45 minutes. Do you do that? Uh, no, no. I, I save it all for Sundays. I work off for five hours on Sunday. So you're a weekend warrior. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. So, <laughs> anyway, even though we women know what we should be doing, many of us still find it hard to engage in physical activity on a consistent basis. We use excuses like, I don't have time, I'm too tired, exercise is boring, I don't like to move, my kids get in the way, and, or I'm not a gym person. You ever use those excuses? No, I don't, but I hear them all the time from my wife. <laughs> well, anyway, these issues can affect all people. However, there is one particular reason that seems to affect more than others. That reason is hair. Yes, that is correct. And today on the Veronica Harris Show, our guest, Asia Marie, owner of Crown Royal Salon, and we will discuss how women, especially African-American women, can maintain fabulous, healthy hair and be physically active, too. So please stay with us, and we will be right back. Hair. <laughs> they call me Mr. Hairless. <laughs> have with me Asia Marie, owner of the Crown Royal Salon, and she will give us, she's going to be talking to us about tips about how African American women can uh, protect their hair and their hairstyles while still being physically active. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, Asia, for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Yes, and tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. I have been in the hair industry for many years. I am a salon owner. Mm -hmm. I specialize in natural hair mm -hmm. and um, assisting women with protective styles for their active lifestyle. Can you tell me some of the stranger things you've seen? I will be here all night <laughs> talking about those things. Um, well, okay, did you ever have a woman come in with this picture and say, make me look like this? Of course. <laughs> you have people that come in with the inch of hair that wants Beyonce. I mean, but as a hairstylist, when this is your passion, mm -hmm. that's what you do the job for, to make women feel secure and beautiful and comfortable, and it helps people, you know. Okay. Well, part of feeling beautiful and secure is being physically fit. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, women, especially African-American women, sometimes have to weigh the cost of, am I working out or am I, you know, focusing on my health or is it my hair because as you know probably um, women we spend a lot especially African American we spend a lot of money on our hair we spend a lot of time in the hair salon so that can be a factor and actually research has been done that shows that um, these are exact factors that African American women in particular have to consider um, so you know on the study I was talking to you about like according to a study that was conducted by Dr. Amy J. McMichael, who is a dermat African American dermatologist at the Wake Forest School of Medicine, Wake Forest University School of Medicine, they did a study that found that 40% of African American women skip exercising because of hair issues. 
Mm -hmm. um, this issue is important in, I think, in the African American community, especially for me, females, because it has been found that four out of five um, African American women are obese, mm -hmm. um, which is the highest rate among all women, according to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. And we know that the top three causes of death for African American women are heart disease, cancer, and stroke. Mm -hmm. And obesity is a big, big risk factor in those diseases. However, we can mitigate our risk to getting those diseases if we are physically active mm -hmm. on a consistent basis. So being on the front lines, you know, you probably see these decisions that women have to make every day. Do you mm -hmm. not? Mm-hmm. I do. Um, more recently, I will say that... Um, I just lost my train. <laughs> so no, that's okay. So more recently, is it something... Um, I will say that I can see how that can um, cause an issue for some mm -hmm. women. Um, the issue would be not having adequate styling. Okay. So if you're not selecting the appropriate style for your texture and the length of your hair, then you would have to continuously manipulate your hair mm -hmm. and th think about shampooing and drying mm -hmm. and styling all over again. But when you choose appropriate styling, it's easier for you to manage your hair okay. while being active. All right, well, that's what we're going to get into because uh, clearly the problem has been identified as far as, like, you know, the need to be physically active. But we've also found uh, through the research a reason for, you know, why particularly African-American women may not be engaging in the physical activity they need to. So um, during your years as a hairstylist, have you known women who, um, who who will uh, not work out because they're concerned about their hair. Like they specifically say, I don't like to work out because of my hair. Have you heard that? Have they said that to you? No. I'm she gonna be honest. She specialize in natural hair. So most people, most of your clients have natural hair? Yeah, or they either, they either do braids or twists, mm -hmm. um, something that's putting their hair up mm -hmm. so that they don't have to really worry about. I, if someone is using that as an excuse, that's simply what it is, as an excuse. Okay, all right then, it's an excuse. Hey, I can live with that. Um, so, all right, you say a lot of your clients are natural hairstyles. So have you noticed any African-American women who perhaps are coming into your salon to change their hair texture um, so that they can work out, so it makes it easier for them to work out? I wouldn't say specifically to work out, mm -hmm. but I do think that natural hair is actually coming back. More women are wearing their hair in its natural form. Mm -hmm. And I think um, the evolution of protective styling is one of the contributing factors because mm -hmm. there are many ways that you can wear your hair without it being relaxed. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you're active and you um, have to worry about perspiration, mm -hmm. then you're worrying about shampooing your hair. But there's other things that you can do besides shampooing, like dry shampooing or moisture cleansing but that wouldn't be ideal if your hair is straightened. Right. So if you had a protective style, you could clean your scalp without worrying about um, compromising your style. So. Okay. so that actually brings us to our next question, because I was going to ask you, like, what should women do to protect their hair or hairstyles while working out? Like, and not only what should they do, what, what should they avoid doing? Definitely you should cover your hair with a hair wrap. And I bought something that's, beneficial for me because it can allow it well I will say it depends on what your style is that you're wearing mm -hmm. what type of wrap I would suggest if you're wearing a style where you can pineapple your hair which is like wearing it up at the crown of your hair like or a ponytail, ponytail uh -huh. or a loose bun then you can use a silk satin scarf to tie your edges down mm -hmm. or something like this where it's like a it's open at the top and it's open at the bottom you put it on his head uh, <laughs> you gonna put it on your head yeah <laughs> But if you're tying the scarf, the, you know, you're sweating and stuff, doesn't that first person get trapped there? Or? Well, what it does is it actually holds your edges down mm -hmm. and keeps it from reverting. Ah, okay. So you're protecting the style. Oh, so okay. So if I had hair, so you it would the, come up here? Yeah, you yes. would be up there. Well, you know, men today, they have that man bun. You ever see a lot of, you know? Sick of it. They <laughs> actually have a hair wrap specifically for active women that absorbs the sweat okay. and I can't remember well, who, yeah. what particular brand it is but there is one specifically for right. sweat so mm -hmm. it, it absorbs the sweat and keeps it away from your hair. Okay 
okay. Well, that's good to know. And that's probably something we can all Google. Mm -hmm. so, anyway, <laughs> so are there any hairstyles that are more conducive for working out than others? Um, as I mentioned before, people will probably rotate more to braids. Mm -hmm. um, you can do weaves, you know what I mean? It, it, <laughs> <laughs> you could do weaves, you could do weaves with a closure if you're worrying about leaving your leave out. out. Mm -hmm. um, crochet braids, that's also back. Locks, mm -hmm. that, that's definitely a, a great alternative. Um, like I said, something that you would not have to manipulate often. So, something that oh. you can put your hair away would oh, probably be ideal. Okay. All right, so in other words, the less you have to, you know, deal with, deal with to have your hands or the comb or, or, or styling tools in the hair, mm -hmm. the better. Yes, but I think it would just depend on the person because if you, like I said, perspire a lot and mm -hmm. you need to cleanse your scalp, then you would probably want to choose a style that's easier for you to get to your, to get to your scalp. So maybe not so much a close your weave, but maybe braids? Braids okay. or cornrows or mm -hmm. something of that nature. Or even crochet braids. Okay. Because you can get crochet hair mm -hmm. that would look like an actual weave, right. but you'll be able to access your scalp easily. And that's what's, I guess that's what's important because that perspiration mm -hmm. leaves that uh, dirt, I guess, residue on the scalp. And, and if you don't like dry your hair or cleanse it, mm -hmm. then you can develop like mildew and fungus on your scalp, which is just terrible. I can see by your face, it's just terrible. It is. <laughs> it's terrible. But shampooing your hair often can also be harmful to your hair too because it strips your hair of its natural oils. Mm-hmm. Uh, I heard the word holistic approach. You have a whole, you said you holistic. have a whole, holistic, holistic. Uh, approach with hairstyling or was that not the right word approach? Us. Well, for instance, say you come to me and you say I'm dealing with the, the issue with my scalp and it's dry and it's itchy. Um, I would first suggest some things like internally, like are you eating right? Is your diet right? Are you using essential oils like tea tree or peppermint or lavender or something that's soothing as opposed to telling you to go to a dermatologist and getting a prescription? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of things that you can treat naturally without using, you know, chemicals. Or medicine. Or medicine. Pharmaceuticals, yeah. if you want to say I I've heard the hair acts as an antenna. Mm-hmm. And, and we receive from the universe through our hair. What? Is, is, that, is that accurate? Um, what? I can't attest whether or not if it is or if it isn't. What? what are you looking at? Like, the the, the higher the hair, the antenna. closer to God. Now, and you know, uh, some people don't cut their hair for a spiritual reason. Okay. Well, and, um, yes. And they said in the Bible, the guy, his hair was in his power. His power was in his Samson. hair. Like Samson. Yeah. So I wondered, you know, being a hairdresser, you know, about, um, you know, that sort of thing, the antenna. Skirt! That's yeah. what we, <laughs> you, you trying to drop a photo. Trying to make me feel like I'm crazy or something. Yeah. Like I'm all the way out there somewhere. You are. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, back to the questions. Um, if a female comes to you and asks you um, about transitioning from chemical processed hair to natu natural hair, what advice would you give them? Because I, you know, I've heard the stories. It's, it's a hard process, even going from you know, like short to long. Mm -hmm. Just that, whether it's if you still have your hair chemically processed, like. But what advice would you give them to make um, it through? First and foremost, I would refrain from chemically processing your hair. That would include relaxers, texturizers, permanent hair colors, keratin, keratin treatments. Okay. All of those things alter the natural structure of your hair and ultimately can prolong the transition and period. Mm -hmm. um, I would try to suggest going heat free, mm -hmm. but if you must use heat, use it in moderation and cautiously mm -hmm. and um, trimming, develop a regimen. Um, also doing um, deep conditioning mm -hmm. often and protein treatments because where the natural hair and well, your natural texture in the relaxed hair mm -hmm. meets that area is weak. Uh -huh. So especially if you're straightening your hair, you want to make sure you're doing protein treatments to prevent a lot of the breakage. Okay. All right. Well, those are some great I mean, some great answers and some good advice for women who need to, um, you know, make that transition, or women who are looking to be more physically active, but are you know dealing with issues in the hair and how they can definitely educate yourself because there are ways around it. Mm -hmm. There are alternatives and. It, like I said, if you find the appropriate styling, 
then it's easier for you to maintain your hair and continue on with your active lifestyle. It shouldn't be an issue if you have someone to help you. Right. Well, yes, so we can all use a little bit of help. Well, Asia Marie, thank, thank you. you very thank much. Thank you for having me. Yes. Thank you, sir. You have been very, you've educated us a lot. Um, you know, and I, I mean, I just, you've given me so much information to think about. And it's good to know that there's someone out there that is, has a holistic approach, that natural, that wants to see women still be physically active and not let their hair um, be an issue. But I know you talked about braids and stuff and that deals with edges and I can do a whole show on edges. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, maybe one day you, you're like, mm -hmm, okay, so <laughs> maybe one day you can come back. Can come back. You can talk about saving the edges. Yes. Say, hashtag, <laughs> hashtag save, save the, the edges. edges. Hashtag save the edges. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And we'll see you next time, hopefully. Right. And we'll be right back. Alvin and the Chipmunks want to remind you, bacteria can hide in food and make you ill. Wow. But you can keep bacteria from ruining your day with four simple steps. Clean. I'm waiting for the rinse cycle. Separate. <laughs> cook. Fire in the hole. And chill. We Chipmunks are notoriously tidy. Check your steps. The road chip to food safety starts at foodsafety.gov. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to GetSchooled.com. And now is the time for what is Veronica thinking? And can you guess what I'm thinking about today? Something about hair. You cheater. <laughs> but yes, um, today I'm thinking about hair. And I'm thinking about edges. And I'm thinking about how women should not let their hair be a reason for them to not A, be physically active, or B, not pursue any of their dreams, especially their athletic dreams. For instance, during the Olympics, people talked about Gabby Douglas and her edges and things about that. Her hair didn't look good at certain times. And I'm thinking, this woman just won a gold medal. I mean, she has beat out the best of the best. She trains every day for hours, maybe four or five, six hours at a time. She don't have time to be worried about being cute at that moment. Now, you can be cute after the competition is over and you know you've had you've done what you needed to do but at that moment you're focused on doing your best in your chosen um sport also simone emmanuel another african-american young lady who won gold in the pool and we know what the pool can do to a female's a black woman's head so these women i'm so proud of and because they did not let their hair be an excuse for them not to be physically active and not to chase their dreams. So I think instead of women, you know, sitting back there on Twitter, da, 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 you know, in 140 characters or less, being negative, I think they should uphold, you know, uplift these women and be proud of them and say, "Black girl magic." What do you think? I mean, that hair is a big to do, and I'm I'm just glad that I don't have to do much. Ten minutes, and I'm ready to go. Every every once a week. You know, <laughs> you spend like three hours at a salon. I know. Well, I mean, yeah, well, that's true. But as you know, when I was running, I didn't let the hair stop me. Yeah. Yeah. So that's important. So ladies, don't let the hair stop you from being physically active. You know, find that pr protective hairstyle. Find that, you know, way or texture that you want to wear your hair. Because at the end of the day, we need to be active. We need to be healthy. And we need to follow our dreams. And that's what Veronica is thinking today. Sounds good. Sounds good? I like it. I like it too. Stay, join us next time.